Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today, as you can see behind me, I am dribbling sorry with the tanker and as you've seen from the heading of the video, this is looking back at the tanker now that I have it, well not quite a year but nearly a year. The reason I'm really doing it now, not till it's actually a year's time, is because I'm spreading for the farmer and in the same field as I'm for the same farmer in the same field that I made the video on the first my first job with the dribble bar tanker where I had the 6480 and I was using it for the first time so that's why I said I do it today it's not quite a year it's what was it 10 months or something it's I look at it's as good as a year so I just said I'd talk about it and that um, not just spreading yet I'm just driving across the fields to where I'm spreading as there's uh, four fields in the block that I have to do and I hope you can see um, what I'm at the job I'm at the gaps are a bit mucky in that and just like I went to the road it's thrown up a fair bit of uh, dirt onto the windows so that's why my windows are kind of dirty and also the tank is dirty and also this is the third job I think yeah it's the third job um, I've done so far this year since the season has opened um, for dribbling slurry with the tanker. So we're just getting ready to start now. So bear with me a second. Yeah, so we're we're working away there now. So um I suppose I'll get straight into it now. Tanker, great job. There's practically nothing I can fault it on. Got on very well with the tanker. Lots of work done, never give me pretty much no trouble at all. The only one bit of trouble I did have was with the uh, pipes on the dribble bar coming off. Uh, when you'd be letting down the arms or when you'd be blowing out. They're the two times they come off and it. For a time it was quite annoying but I, um, what I'm doing now and I pretty much have it done with all of them. I did it as they come off. Um, I filed uh, a burr onto the clamp that sort of catches the pipe that you tighten the uh, I can't think of the right words now but the, the ring onto it that you tighten that onto and it's working like a set of teeth and it's just grabbing the pipe and it's holding it I don't think after I've done it any of the pipes none of them have come off since so that was the only little thing problem that I had with tank other than that no trouble at all macerator never want never blocked it once the only thing that I, I, the only time I ever have to open it is when it's lying for a while um, it can have the mass rear can stick in it and it takes a depends on how long it's been sitting now but sometimes it can take a wrap of the hammer just to give it a jolt just to get going but um, other than that I've never had to open up the back of it never blocked it I've done extremely thick tanks bale tanks done it all never blocked it once it's I've never actually used the pre macerator on the tank and I'm considering selling it off it because I don't need it. I also got through. I don't need it, I probably should have never got it, but I was just being sure just in case. But mass that mass tank, uh, mass rate never blocked it once. Um what else is there with the tank? Um I also find with the tank, dribbling the slurry, it empties a lot quicker than with the splash plate. Uh, uh, substantially quicker I, I can get more loads out when I'm putting it through the dribble bar um, I assume that's just because it's just putting out more like for house two and a half thousand gallons to the acre I'm driving at this is in miles an hour five miles an hour 5.1 5.3 miles an hour putting out that much so it, it does it is emptying out quite a lot quicker than Splash bit does. Um, the tires on the tanker, the 900 tires, never left a mark anywhere. Never. Tractor might leave marks in some types of ground. Tanker never left a mark anywhere. I even found the first day, the first day I was using it, the tractor was using had narrow enough tires. I think what were they? They were 480s and 500s or something like that. They weren't the widest tires in the world. But they left a bit of a track in one spot, in a wet spot, and the tanker leveled it out, just completely flattened it out, never even marked the ground. That's one thing I find with them tires, never left a mark. Also, something I find with them, and I presume it's down to that, when I'm on the road with a full tank, I can drive flat out, and there's none of this bouncing around with the tank 
moving like you do see with the with the, the other tankers our other tankers the other two tankers we have on day 100 tires they're always there you have a full load and you start getting a bit of speed and you're fucking up and down and up and down like a bollocks but with this none of that whether it's better balance with the extra weight on the back of the tank or whether it's the size of the tires that's something i found i've never had any trouble never had any of that bouncing going on um, what has is there uh, I don't think the side class I find very handy especially at this shop it lets me know exactly what's in it I can tell from the very start how my tank is filling and how things are going um, I think that's really it I can't think of anything else to talk about with the tank all in all I'm very happy with buying it we're getting a lot of work done with it lost jobs lads and dairy and also dairy farmers prefer um, dribbling and slurring as I've been told by quite a few now that um, the, the grass comes back better after the dribbling and slurring which I, uh, I presume is to do with the uh, ammonia and uh, the no, uh, get my words right the ammonia being lost in the night in the room that's being splashed not losing that ammonia so that's me just finished the load there now so it's another field done um, that's really, I can't think of anything else to do with the tanker. Um, if you have any questions on the tanker, anything you think I forgot to say about or any questions of that, please hit me down in the comments down below. If you have any suggestions for any other videos, please again, hit me down in the comments down below. Um, that is it for me. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Hope you enjoyed the video. That's it for me. Good luck.